Well, uh, hello and uh, welcome back to our uh, M and M Model Railways channel. M and M stands for Michael and Michelle, and we are a husband and wife team, and we are working together on building this uh, model train layout. As you can see, right now we've got our little uh, train running around our track, but uh, we need to uh, pour some more water resin down in that uh, river down there and uh, get things finished on that. So uh, I'm going to be uh, taking the uh, bridge apart, and uh, Michelle's going to be doing the, the work back there. So she's going to be pretty much uh, in the video uh, um, to show you how um, she's going to do this. I did the first two sections. I think she can handle the other two sections on camera. So uh, we're going to be doing that. And uh, I just really, really enjoy watching the train uh, run around the track. So... As soon as that uh, clears the camera, we'll go ahead and get started in this uh, um, video. So I'll go ahead and uh, take this apart. I parked the train down on the far end. So I, I made this so it's uh, movable. And the reason we want to finish everything underneath there is because uh, what we're eventually going to be adding some ballast to this uh, layout. So what I do is uh, lift this up and I pull from my siding. Snap that piece off there. Then snap that off. This piece has my my electric uh, stuff that hooks to my track, so I don't want to mess with that. So I'm going to set my piece over there out of the way. Then the, the bridge comes off. So uh, I'm going to have uh, my wife uh, take over. She's going to uh, clean uh, this area out. I've already mixed, uh, made my... Uh, not mixed, but measured uh, what I need for the ingredients for this. I'll be talking her through this here in a little bit, but uh, make sure uh, you pay attention to what you're doing here. Um, she's going to go ahead and clean this out. Uh, if you want to bring the vacuum cleaner, we can do that. Basically, this one's pretty dirty. This is the one you're going to be pouring the resin in. Yep, I'm just going to clean it real quick. Let me sweep it. Basically, just give it a little sweeping job. I don't want none of that in the resin, so it'll definitely show. I mean, we're gonna have white water effects, but still, it's gonna show. It's really dirty. Now I see why we're gonna have to get one of those um, track cleaners. Track just, cleaners or vacuums? Yeah, because I just saw the bridge. Yeah, vacuums. It's all dusty. Uh, do you want to hand me that trash? Yep. I'm wondering if I can just scoop it on out and then let it drop. You gotta go over that uh, little waterfall we have there. Yeah. Let's see. You gotta get it all out of there. I'm sure you don't want the vacuum. Um, I'm gonna sweep this part up into a pile and then I'll get the vacuum. Vacuum, babe. Your vacuum is set up. Go ahead and use it. Okay. I'll lift it up for you. Yeah. That's too big. You're going to make a mistake with that one. Okay. Alright. I'll 
Let's look this up for you. Okay. Open here. All right, here we go. Okay, now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to uh, have her uh, open up what's inside this package. Another package? <laughs> show, show them this uh, package and show them what's in there so they got the idea of what you're going to be doing. Alright, this is the resin kit. with us and I'll uh, talk her through this. We only need to pour one of them a little bit more deeper so uh, let's go over to the uh, kitchen. And the first thing you need to do is take your ingredients out of your box and get your directions out. Alright. The first thing you need to do is take both bottles. I've already done this before. You're going to take both bottles and you're going to put both bottles down in this bag right here and you're going to fill that pot with the warm water not ouch water but warm enough so it's hot and warm but not ouch and you're going to put them down in that water for 10 minutes we're going to time it we're going to time it so make your water make your water to the point where it's uh um not ouch, but between warm and hot. How much? Until the bags are submerged into it. So go ahead and put your bags down in there. They have to be all the way down in the water. The liquid in here has to be below the water surface. When I did this last time, I put uh, something to weight it down in there. Completely close that bag, right? All right, the liquid's down in there. Now that's good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the timer over here on the stove for uh, um, 10 minutes. And uh, it will go off in 10 minutes. I'm going to pause the camera. We'll give you a 10 second timer, but for us, it's going to be 10 minutes. We'll be back in 10 seconds for you guys. Okay, we are uh, back. And uh, while we're waiting for that timer to go off, what we're going to be doing is uh, the next step in this water pour which is to put the measurement on the cup. So I explained to Michelle uh, how to do that. So she's going to go ahead and tell you what I told her while she's doing it. All right, so Michael said to put the measurement, um, little meter on the cup, the plastic cup. And it's said to put it right up to the top of it. Make it straight. Just like 
Now, as soon as our timer goes off here in one minute, uh, she's going to be going to what uh, figure six is on our uh, little uh, chart right here. <laughs> no, you can't see that, but uh, I'm talking you through that. I think it was in one of the steps in like step 28 or something like that, step 29. I actually did this step by myself, but I think it's a valuable step for her to learn how to do this. And yes, we are doing it in my, our kitchen because I'm a cool wife. <laughs> well, we're also and we're also it. doing our training in our living room, so <laughs> we decided that together. Well, uh, you have that measurement on your cup. I want you to mark a, uh, a 60 mark on it. Okay. Yeah, so mark a 60. So we need 60, 60, that's, that's good. Just, just mark it off to the side. Yeah. And then uh, we need uh, another 30 of the hardener. So she's going to go up to 90 and make another mark. Make it so you can see it. Okay. All right. So uh, when we get ready, she's going to fill the, the, the water base to 60 and then the hardener to 30. As soon as the timer goes off here in a minute, she's going to take those out of the bag. And then I told her what to do, so she's going to tell you what uh, she's going to do. Okay. okay. Timer just went off. Now find your water activator. Which one's water? Which would be the big one? Oh. This is the activator. Make sure. Okay. Does this say water? water? Okay. The water. Now open it and mix it. Not mix it, but pour it until you get to the 60 millimeters. 90 so that 60 and 30 makes 90 so we ni need 90 milliliters for one full minute. You got your watch? Okay, now it, sh it should uh, um, start turning cloudy as you're going. Just one way or another One full minute. Scrape on the sides, stir it, don't get aggressive with it. Okay. One full minute. Okay, now it says after one minute of stirring to go ahead and uh, put in uh, our dye. We are using turquoise dye. And Vince, I did this uh, color activation the last time. I'm going to go ahead and put it in there now for her. But she has to stir this for a whole uh, um, pour the deep water base into the prepared. Nope, we're up here. Uh, pour the warm water base into the mixing cup into the determined amounts. Close the container. Pour the Correct ratio of activator into the mixing cup. Close the container and quickly begin the next step. Gently stir the water base and activator together for 10 minutes. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the drops in and she's gotta keep stirring that for 10 minutes. That's it, pretty close. Couple more. 
Yeah, go, go. She's gonna go over and look. I'm gonna go look and see if it's about right. We'll, we'll pause the video while we're doing that. Dark. Well, uh, we're gonna head over to the uh, train table now and uh, we'll be pouring that in there. I'm gonna set up my little tripod and my little camera so you can zoom in on what she's doing. She's got about three more minutes of steering. Make sure you steer to the full time. Um, I'll be coming right back with my little uh, camera on the tripod and we'll get a zoom in close up. All right, time to pour the water resin. Done stirring. I'm gonna kind of make sure she doesn't overfill the waterfall bank. Even. Just kind of move it around. Not, don't go over the rocks. Go around them. soak it up. Okay. It's just going to continue. There's a gap. We'll be all right. All right. Don't worry about the small things. 